What's up everybody, welcome back. I've been putting off the platform that I want to build in the back of my Tacoma for far too long now. It's time to build it. I've got some plywood here as well as a 2x10 that I'm going to use as base supports for the platform. I've been thinking about it and I've decided I just want to keep it as simple as possible because really this is going to be used for camping situations during the winter and summertime but I, I'm not always going to have it in my truck so it doesn't need to be a permanent setup. So I want the platform to be easily removable but I also want to maximize as much space as I can underneath the platform. So I've got a couple ideas, I just need to make a couple measurements and uh, put it all together. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing I want to do is get the base set up and then I'll worry about the top layer. So it's about 60 inches from the front of the bed all the way to the back of the bed and I think I'll be able to lay that support beam down and still shut the tailgate if I cut it at 60 inches. I think I'll still just have enough space. Okay, so I made the first cut for the base platform and I think it's going to turn out pretty well. So, if you look, this runs the entire length of the bed and then I can shut this and then there's just a little bit of space right there. Like, very, very minimal. I think it's going to be good. So I like the way that turned out and what I'm going to do next is build the side beams that are going to go across. Those are going to go from the base of the wheel well, or the very back end of the wheel well, all the way across. They're going to meet in the middle. Then I got some door hinges that I'm going to screw into them that will keep it mounted onto the main beam. was pretty simple um, the back piece is a little bit interesting just because you have let me show you just because you have these notches right here on the side okay so I wanted to kind of explain how this whole situation was worked out or how I worked it out because it is a little bit confusing so I took my measurement all the way across the bed which right there it's about 57 57 and a half inches and then I took it where these uh, these pillars kind of come in and where they meet right there so it's about 53 inches so it's about a four inch difference so basically what I said is okay from here where it starts coming in diagonally to here there's a two inch difference so I made a line diagonally about two inches in on the board and then from here to out here this pillar is about two inches as well so I made it coming in two inches there and then two inches all the way out from here to the edge of the board that's how I decided to make my cuts right there and it didn't fit perfectly, but it fits perfectly enough to where there's the support on the side of the bed, and then you have the support in the center as well. So it's supported enough to where it's not, I'm not super worried about it. If you put a lot of weight on this corner, it'll still lift up, but you can see that even lifting it up right here, it's still supported on this edge. I'll put the measurements for all my boards in the video description, but I wanted to explain this section because it is a little bit confusing just because you have the angle as well as the difference in width. So each one of these boards can lift up and out. It can completely separate so I can have access to this compartment. The last thing that I'm gonna do is underneath right there, I'm gonna put some door hinges. So my idea behind the hinges right there is that I'll be able to take this piece and fold it back this way and it'll just slide backwards out of the truck when I don't wanna use it. And then I can just put it in and extend it out and then it'll just be ready to go. I still want to make sure that the bed platform is comfortable and I'm not going to have to worry about splinters. So I'm going to take each section and I'm going to wrap it in carpet right there. The carpet that I'm using is not super thick. It's like something you'd see on like a subwoofer box or something like that. Uh, so it's pretty thin, but it should be good enough for the, the platform right here. Uh, the way I'm going to do it, I've got some spray adhesive right here. Then I've got a staple gun. I'm going to staple that onto the back side. It should keep the carpet pretty much in place. I don't think there's going to be any movement. And the nice thing about the plywood is it's already kind of coarse, so I don't have to do a rough sand. It should stick pretty well.
it's pretty much ready to go. I did have to take a little bit off of each side just to compensate for the carpet's width, but it all still fits in really nice. So the only thing that I have left to do is just grab a foam pad, set it on top of there, and it's ready to go camping. If any of you guys use this as kind of a template for your own platform in the bed of your truck, I'd like to see it. So if you do, go find me on Instagram, tag me, something like that. I'd love to see if this helped you out. Thanks a ton for watching guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you around.